come back to me. Forgive me. I love you. Please stop. I am not a toy you can play with when you're bored or lonely or horny. I am not the girl the guy gets at the end of the movie. I am not a fantasy. If you want me, earn me. You can't fix the fact that I love you. That I love you more than I love being present. Extraordinary love. Sit with me and watch me choose you. Watch me burn you. Fitz and I are going to be together. I'm sorry, what? I'm going to be with him, Cyrus. We have a plan, it's going to work. I love him. Mr. President. I remember Tony and I knew each other oddly from politics. We had worked together in Washington, but we had never worked together as actors. But we were doing camera tests to see like what our clothes look like. And we walked in front of the cameras for camera test, and we were just chatting about politics. And I could hear and feel Shonda and Betsy, our producers, in the corner like they were so excited. And I thought, oh, they like what they see. Like there's something about what they're seeing, and they got like more and more excited. They were like, keep walking back and forth. <laughs> and, um, and I thought, oh, so like this must, there, we must have some chemistry or something. Mm -hmm. ah! I remember watching the pilot and I was thinking, this is a great show, this is a great show. And then there's that scene where Carrie walks into the Oval and Sweet it's revealed scene. for the mm -hmm. first time what their relationship is. And I was like, oh, this is a show, you know? <laughs> yeah. That was the moment where, uh, you know, no A, no show has done that before. And B, their chemistry was just so watchable and yeah. real that that really goes a long way for the fantasy, I want to be her, getting bent over on the Oval Office desk. <laughs> what? Like, huh? what? 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 What are we talking about here? No, let's leave it at that. The combination of Shonda Rhimes and Kerry Washington, I've been there. Every time I saw Carrie in a movie, she was so different in everything, and I was a huge fan of her work and loved her as a person and had been just going, God, I hope I get a chance to work with Carrie. Hmm. And then um, Shonda called me and said, how do you play the President of the United States? Yeah. Now there's the real reason. <laughs> <laughs> just so everyone knows. <laughs> so the, 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 the combination of those two women, I was like, that's going to be... And Fitz and Olivia's relationship was yeah. so sexy and steamy and for network television especially. Anyway, Carrie, I love this woman so much. She, we would just, to, we never talked about the work. We never talked about a scene. We never had to discuss anything. We just kind of did it. And um, we're always on the same wavelength as actors and didn't want to intellectualize anything. I think partly because our relationship was so much about the chemistry between us, and because I guess initially those characters were so sort of at odds with each other and didn't, um, yeah, they, I don't know, it just didn't feel right. So we didn't ever talk about it. We just were like, yep, that's that feels right. Yeah. And uh, so we had this uh, amazing chemistry as actors. I, I don't know how we'd ever, I don't know how we'll get there, but I do think that these two people do belong together. Their hearts and soul, everything is just wrapped up in one another. I, I believe this is a trick question because the answer that you're looking for is one thing. The real answer is in their hearts. But the answer you're looking for is Vermont. Correct. Or the Oval Office, or an electrical closet at the White House. I think her true love is Fitzgerald Grant. I think that's her true love, whether I like it or not. <laughs>
Would you want to see them? To be honest with you, I, no, 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 you can, answer, you can listen. I honestly want for the writers to do what works for them. I honestly think that this journey that they've had us on for five seasons has been such a brilliant one, and it's because they have written what feels right for them. So I want for Live and Fits what Shonda sees for Live and Fits. I want them to go to Vermont. I wasn't suffocating. I was trying to show you. You were trying to save me. I was trying to save us. There is no us. There is no this. There is no Vermont. There is no jam. There is no future. Not anymore. I just love working with Tony Goldwyn. He is just such a spectacular human being and such an amazing actor. So knowing that I get to do that kind of juicy, complicated, heartbreaking material with him is a bit of a joy mm -hmm. and also just horrifying. You know, yeah. I knew, like, even though it's, I don't know, maybe seven minutes in the episode, it was like 10 hours of us yelling at each other and breaking each other's hearts. Mm -hmm. So it was hard to do, but also really gratifying artistically because mm -hmm. I love him so much and I respect him so much and it's so great to work with him. I think also knowing that that scene came directly after the abortion scene for yeah. me it sort of carried all of the emotion that Olivia didn't have on that operating table. She carries it into that closet and into yeah. that scene. So um, there was a lot going on. I'm just, I'm so grateful that I got to do this scene with Tony and that Tom Verico was our director. Um, so, yeah. Tony, do you think Olivia Pope was sufficiently appreciative that you actually declared war on a country? <laughs> I can't imagine why you would ask that question. To me. <laughs> Just doesn't seem like she was. Fitz is a humble guy, but no, she was not. She didn't quite meet my expectations. Mm -hmm. I was hoping for a little more sugar. I love it. <laughs> Tony and I actually had a really great conversation about that whole idea of, um, of the fact that the president went to war for Libya. You know, at a time in this world where we were begging the media to pay attention to hundreds of black girls that were missing overseas, the fact that Shonda kind of wrote the ultimate bring back our girls, that it became like the epitome of Black Lives Matter, that, you know, rather than ignoring the, the hundreds of black women that were missing, she made a president go to war for this one person. And it just seemed like a very powerful idea. You know, I, I just thought it was a really wonderful, poignant choice of hers. Nice view. Hi. Hi. What happens now? Whatever. Um, before I let, let you off the hot seat, um, tell me your biggest OMG moment of the season. <laughs> um, it's in the finale. Uh, <laughs> we'll get to that in a few minutes. Um, Tony, same question for you. What was your biggest OMG moment of the season? Same answer. <laughs> oh. can, we just screen the, can we just screen the finale now? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Um, <laughs> Where Carrie and I were um, mm. 
doing the scene in front of the Constitution. Touching the Constitution. Oh, like this, and we talk about it as a whole new world. What, what we and want? it was the night of the real the election. The night of the real election. And, wow. and while we were doing that scene, Barack Obama got re-elected to his second term. Wow. We were Which Shonda relationship do I ship the hardest? Well, Fitz and Olivia. I don't like talking about chemistry between people because it kind of ruins it. You'll right. say something and it'll be in their head and then it's gone. So, but yes, what you see is is absolutely magical. I think Jake would like to be back on the island with Olivia. No, I think Olivia's one true love is Fitz. The only human that's guaranteed to have a happy ending at the end of Scandal is Shonda Rhimes. The love story between Olivia and Fitz is really not over and can't really ever be over. All of them went happy after the month or whatever, whoever you were or to be us and in the sun. <laughs> <laughs> Tony, what was it like on set? Um, take us to the scene on set when you're um, shooting that last scene with Carrie. And what, what's the environment like? What's going on there? It, it, was, it was kind of... It was, Our last scene uh, together or the last scene Your last scene together. Oh. Together. It was the scene when the love scene. So we were doing this and we were like... And then she says to me, this may be the very last time I have to right now. Um, and we were like... Holy shit, that's the last time we're actually gonna be in a scene together. We're gonna be in a scene together, so it's very poignant. Yeah, we like each other, but it's not appropriate to like each other. See, I promise. That's on camera. (laughs) They have proof. Kind of do get their Olitz happy ending. Yeah, they do. They do. They, we, Olitz um, seems to be uh, together in a really healthy way uh, at the end. So, and yet I love the fact that it's not overly sentimental. And you know, Shonda, it's not what the show's about, which I thought was also really great of Shonda that it didn't sort of just gratuitously put them together. It just has that last high, which is perfect and, and light, a light touch. It's good. Harry, what are you going to miss most about each other? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I don't think we're going to miss each other because we're going to still be in each other's lives. Yeah. <laughs> How much am I going to miss Kerry Washington? Well, I'm not going to miss her because I'm not leaving her. She's not going to be out of my life and I refuse to be out of hers. No, I'm gonna miss. Um, oh, you know, what can I say? You can make us all cry. Yeah. I feel like you're getting a little emotional. Are you feeling it? Yep. Yeah. She's very special. <laughs>